KGB leaks confirm Russia regularly meddles in US elections and media. There is a huge media frenzy right now about possible Russian meddling in the US presidential elections and also widespread Russian meddling in American media, mostly alternative media. Now, please don't believe the hype that um, the uh, election results are going to be overturned because of Russian meddling. No, uh, the American elite is not going to let that happen because that would make America look weak and uh, look like uh, not a sovereign power. So uh, all this big talk right now is not supposed to really hurt uh, Donald Trump and to keep him from, from the White House. Uh, Donald Trump is an establishment man and he's put all kinds of establishment people into his cabinet. So I think that should come as no uh, surprise. But uh, this panic of Donald Trump's uh, Donald Trump not being inaugurated because of uh, because of this Russian meddling that is just supposed to string you along. It's supposed to make you continue to believe the lie about uh, the Trump revolution saving the country and draining the swamp and all that. But here's the crazy thing that nobody mentions. The Western mainstream media was actually very, very soft on the Russians before the Ukrainian crisis in 2014. Western mainstream media was rather quiet about the total destruction of freedom in Russia. Even when in 2010, the entire leadership of Poland died in a suspicious plane crash on Russian soil, Western mainstream media was quiet about it. They accepted Russia's sham investigation. And this is just one example of many. In general, Western media supported the Russian agenda until 2014. The Bilderberg anointed chief of the European Union from a few years ago, Van Rompuy, said publicly that Europe needs to integrate with Russia. The famous German manager, Klaus Mangold, who also works for the Rothschild Bank, tried his hardest to facilitate more trade between Europe and Russia. He said the same thing that Putin did. He wants a free trade zone between Europe and Russia, no more visa necessary for migrants, and uh, all that insanity. I myself was hopping mad about all these Russian collaborators in Western mainstream media. But then the Ukrainian crisis happened in 2014, and for certain complex reasons, the Cold War started again. Suddenly, Western journalists were instructed in the mainstream media to forget everything nice they have ever written about the Russian dictatorship. Suddenly, the Western mainstream journalists were instructed to write some harsh truths about Russia. Western mainstream media will tell you the truth partially when it suits them, when the elite wants some truth to be told, never the full picture though. And Western mainstream media uh, were pushing the Russian agenda before 2014. But in 2014, in the Ukraine crisis, the mainstream media was instructed to write part of the truth about Russia was doing, a proxy war of aggression. There were no significant NATO troops anywhere near Ukraine. It would have taken NATO months to deploy significant troops, by which time the Russians would have invaded the entire country of Ukraine. Of course, Western intelligence tries to get influence in Ukraine, but that effect is very limited because Ukraine is full of Russian agents. And uh, don't believe the fake news that... Um, uh, that the United States pumped $5 billion into the Maidan uh, coup, the Maidan revolution. Um, if you look, the, look up the actual quote, you will see that um, $5 billion were spent over the course of 20 years in Ukraine, which is not that much, actually. So, the United States did not admit to financing the Maidan rebe rebellion with $5 billion. The Western alternative media, since at least 2008, has been little more than a mouthpiece for Russian lies and the personality called about Vladimir Putin. Whereas our mainstream media turned on Russia in 2014, our alternative media intensified their Russian propaganda, walked right into the trap, oftentimes simply copying mainstream stories, Russian mainstream stories. And that's the ultimate irony. Western alternative media is a sham because what they give you is simply the Eastern mainstream views. So, the alternative journalists fell right into the Russian trap and have discredited themselves while the mainstream news pulled the plug in time in 2014. So, the mainstream now attacks the alternative media as Russian agents of influence. And there are more and more laws passed to counter that Russian influence. 
Of course, the alternative guys are panicking. They might get kicked off Facebook, kicked off YouTube, kicked off by other companies, and that's going to hurt business. There will even be indictments and lawsuits in some cases. And don't forget, the alternative media guys in the West never talk about, or almost never talk about, how bad the situation uh, is and was for journalists in Russia. All Russian independent media has been destroyed. Journalists in Russia have been killed in broad daylight. But uh, the alternative media scumbags in the West stay silent about that and praise Russia as this big hope. When the Russian dissident Boris Nemtsov got killed a few months ago, there was no protest in the Western alternative media. Most alternative blogs and YouTube channels, uh, they were um, coldly accepting the fact that this man was killed, or they were even glad he was dead. Uh, and um, places like Infowars and many others actually ran stupid stories insinuating how the CIA must have killed Nemtsov near the Kremlin to make Putin look bad. So <laughs> the CIA supposedly killed uh, one of the most important dissidents in Russia. The idiocy and arrogance knows no boundaries in Western alternative media. Every time Russian citizens try to mobilize some resistance, they're being called CIA or George Soros directed enemies of the state. And it's not just the Russian government who calls protesters traitors. Also, the Western alternative media calls them traitors and evil minions who want to do a color revolution for the CIA and George Soros. And now that these alternative media guys in the West realize there are going to be consequences for all this disinformation, they are whining and bitching and lying. They haven't cried a single tear for all the Russian journalists who got killed or destroyed, but they are now crying for themselves. Alex Jones launched a huge frenzy saying that it is a crazy conspiracy theory by the left and the CIA to believe that Russia would meddle in US elections and does information warfare in the United States. But there are masses of KGB documents, stolen, leaked KGB documents, which prove Russia does these things on a regular basis. It's normal to them. So if you check out, for example, um, the books of the uh, Soviet defector uh, Mitrochin, Mitrochin, he stole a bunch of KGB do documents and uh, files, brought them to the West. And so you can read all kinds of evidence, all kinds of uh, proof how the Russians have been meddling in Western elections for decades and decades. During the presidential campaign in the US 2016, Russia even copied their own slogans from uh, the KGB propaganda during the Cold War. When the Russians try to weaken Nixon and Reagan, they spread the slogan, Reagan means war, or Nixon means war, vote for the other guy, right? And the KGB even considered helping the Democratic candidate. They thought, everyone is better for us than Nixon uh, or, or Reagan. So you have to vote for the other guy if you want peace. And the same slogans were used during the 2016 presidential elections. All the alternative media was spreading this nonsense. Hillary means war. Hillary means the destruction of, of planet Earth and nuclear confrontation. And uh, if you want peace, vote Trump. That's what the Russian agents like Alexander Dugin said, and it's exactly what the alternative media in the West said. Even though it was silly. Hillary would not have decided anything anyway. We never saw a nuclear war during the Cold War. Even when the Vietnam thing happened, there was no end of the world nuke war. Donald Trump might turn out to be actually the new Ronald Reagan, like he said he would be, and Trump might go super tough on the Russians, and the Russians are going to launch a, an information campaign against Trump. Trump and his cabinet want to overturn the Iran deal and spend much more on the military. So the slogan of Hillary means uh, war, Trump means peace, was absolutely silly. So, check out Check out the books from KGB uh, and, uh, and other Soviet defectors and um, get some real good literature on your shelves about the way Russia does things. And I would also recommend you to learn and understand that Russian propaganda does not 
help us. You see, now alternative guys are lying about it and denying they do Russian propaganda, even though they do Russian prop they do spread Russian propaganda. They're lying about it and they're quietly insinuating that it's okay to lie. It's okay to do that and deny it because it helps us. Russian propaganda helps us and it hurts NATO. Well, here's the secret. Russian propaganda does not help us, does not help us, does not help the Russian citizens. And um, it, Russian propaganda doesn't really hurt NATO. It hurts NATO superficially a little bit for a short time. But uh, in, uh, in the long run, Russian propaganda actually serves NATO. Because NATO can uh, attack its own opposition at home, conservatives and patriots and unhappy people at home. So, <sighs> go get the entire life's work of Anthony Sutton and read how the Eastern empires and the Western empires have always been kind of collaborating, keeping a balance of power and using these tensions to their own advantage. And this used to be kind of the hallmark of the alternative media, the scientific American alternative media. They used to break this East-West paradigm, and so what I'm doing here is continuing exactly that, right? Exactly that, uh, tra that tradition. So, um, if you check out some really good literature, you will actually understand how this, how this works. And um, both superpowers can destroy their own domestic opposition. Because if Russians uh, become rebellions, if Russians actually do alternative media and protest, those Russians will be attacked as traitors and, and agents for foreign powers and agents for the CIA and George Soros who want to do an evil color revolution. And the same stuff is happening here in the West. Everybody who, uh, who is unhappy, everybody who's a rebel, everybody who's a patriot, uh, all these patriots, they, they fell into the Russian propaganda trap and they lost credibility and now they can be attacked by Western governments, uh, can be attacked as traitors. So, I hope this was, uh, uh, I hope this showed you what's actually going on with the, um, the Russian meddling in elections. And of course, uh, nothing compares to actually reading solid literature. So, check out those books, check out all this great, uh, leaked information, the KGB leaks, and uh, you will find that things are much, much different than you were you're being told in the alternative media. Uh, please share this, uh, like us, and comment, and uh, spread news about our channel.